Hello guys, welcome to another Spark session by Lime Guru. In this tutorial, we are going to see how you can write standalone Spark program using Java and you can how you can execute the program onto your local system. So let's get started. So guys, before I begin this session or before I get into how you can write your Spark program in a standalone way, I want to give a quick recap that how you can run your Spark program in an interactive way. Guys, you must remember in the previous sessions that in order to run your Spark program in an interactive way, you need to use one of the Spark shell. It could be Scala based shell or it could be Python based shell. So for Python programs, you need to launch PySpark shell or for Scala programs, you need to launch Spark shell. And whenever you launch shell, those shell act as a driver manager which provides Spark context to you by default. And Spark context is used to create the RDDs. We have already covered these details in the previous session. But in this session, when we are going to create our standalone program, in that program, you will not get the default Spark context. You need to create your own Spark context manually. So let's get started uh, with the program. So in this session, the scope of the the scope of the this tutorial is that we will be demoing one code to you which will execute through spark job onto local machine and this program what it does is i will be taking a sample file input sample file it has certain lines and we are going to filter out those lines from the input file which contains the text spark so before i get into the code let me show you the input file. So I have kept my input file onto temp directory ls minus ltr. So there is one input.txt file. Let's see the content of this file. So you'll see I have written three lines into this input.txt file. First line is hello guys. Second line is welcome to Spark session. Third line is this Spark session explains how, how, how to write standalone application in Spark. So these are the three lines and we are going to write a program in Spark which will filter out those lines which contains the word, the keyword Spark. So the second line contains the keyword Spark and the third line contains the keyword Spark. So let's start writing the code for this. So guys, I have already written the code uh, for this program. As we are going to write in Java, I have used Maven for create for including the dependency for the Spark core. So this is the dependency that we include into our job. We need to include into our Java project. So Spark core we need to include as a dependency, and I have used version 2.1.0 for the Spark core. So this is the only dependency that you need in order to write your Spark program in standalone way. Let me show you the program now. So I have written a very basic program in this class file which is Spark demo. I have written a main method. What I am doing is I am creating the Spark configuration first. So once I have created a Spark configuration, I am just setting the name of this application you can give any name to your application so I have given spark demo job basically this name you will see if you will use any cluster UI to see or monitor the jobs you will see your job by this name spark demo job then I am going to set the master as local so this is important in order to run your job locally if you need to run your job onto cluster you need to provide the cluster URL here once the spark configuration you have initialized the next thing is you need to create the spark context so guys as, as i already mentioned in spark shell you get the spark context through the shell itself but in standalone program you need to create your spark context manually so here in this line i am going to create my spark context java based spark context which is java spark context by providing this configuration which we have created from line number 12 to 14 so now I have got the object SC which is nothing but the spark context 
so the next file is that I am going to create an RDD so in order to create the RDD what I have done is I am linking this path context to a text file which I just showed to you and which is kept at this location slash data slash temp slash input so I have assigned this to the RDD lines so lines now contains the complete input dot text file so next I am going to do is I am going to filter I am going to apply some functions or onto this RDD to filter the record which contains the keyword spark so I just written lines dot filter and I created anonymous function and the function definition I have defined as that filter out the lines which contains the keyword spark so filter lines is another RDD which I have created which will contain only those lines which has keyword spark so let's do some operations onto this RDD let's apply some more function onto this RDD filtered lines RDD so guys if I'll do filtered lines dot count what would be the out what the output I will get so if I'll show you the file again so there were two lines which contains the keyword spark the second line and the third line these lines contain keyword spark so filtered lines is pointing to all those lines which contains keyword spark so the count of lines would be two and in the next in the next statement what I am doing is I am getting the first line from this filtered lines RDD so first line would be welcome to spark session so first line within this my input file which contains spark keyword is welcome to spark session so I for the, for the demonstration purpose I have just I'm just trying to print these two things the total lines containing spark which I'll get through fit filter lines dot count is line count and first line containing spark I'll get through filter lines dot first and that I am going to print as part of my Java program so guys this is the very simple program for demonstration purpose that how you can create standalone spark programs again just to iterate myself you need to create your configuration object you need to create spark context once your spark context is created you just need to create RDDs whatever you want to create whatever functions you want to apply whatever logic you want to apply on top of RDD you need to perform those operations and this is it then you are done for your spark job program so let's try let's run this program now so I'm going to run this program now run as Java application so you will see the logs onto this console terminal it is loading spark libraries let's wait for this program to run okay guys so this program execution has completed and you can see the output which has been printed here so what I printed was total lines containing spark as lines count so if you see the output total lines containing spark is 2 because there were two lines in my file which were containing which was containing spark keyword and then first line containing spark is first line containing spark is welcome to the spark session so this line the output is as per the expectation we were expecting that the first line containing spark keyword would be welcome to spark session and total number of lines containing spark keyword would be 2 so we got the correct output so guys this is how you can write your spark program on your local system and how you, this is how you can run it locally I hope guys you got the concept for running your spark job in a standalone way.